now that I only have a little bit of a cough left, I'm pretty much over the flu. Let me tell you about what happened last week. Last Monday, I'm still pretty sick. It's about three days into having having this flu, coughing a lot, a sore throat, and that's pretty much it. On that day, get home and my chest starts to hurt. I've had this before and it really starts to hurt. I, I can barely breathe. So I drive to the hospital. I know I don't have COVID, I know I have the flu because I got two COVID tests and they both came back negative. And I got a strep test and it wasn't strep. Get to the ER, I check in, they do my blood pressure, weight, everything. And then have me wait in the waiting room. And it's been 28 minutes. And I'm like <sighs> I go up to the front desk guy and I'm like, how long is it gonna be? And he said, the last person waited two and a half hours. So you probably have two hours left. This is an emergency room. How are these people not an emergency? Like, why wouldn't you warn them when they get in here that it's gonna be two hours? Go one, down to the end on the right. Last door on the right. You already. I cut my hand in a lawnmower blade. I think I cut a tendon. Then use your other hand to fill out this information for me. Coach, I'm, I'm gonna pass out. Sir. This is a city hospital, sir, okay? And while I appreciate the fact that you are injured, sir, there are other people here who are injured and who are ahead of you, sir, okay? You will be seen when our one doctor is available, sir. <laughs> shot in the head! Shot in the head! Get shot in the head! Shot in the head! Sir, I will not conversate with you until you can speak to me in a respectful tone. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Shot in the head, please. Okay, fill out this form. <clears throat> I've had something like this happen before, and from what I got, the doctors didn't tell me what it was because when they got took x-rays or anything, nothing came up. But I Googled it, it said it was acid reflux, but I had a very intense acid reflux because not everyone has that. It's like where I can't breathe. My chest hurts really bad. And the last time I went to the ER, the doctor said, Take some ibuprofen. Thanks, man. You know how much my medical bill was after that? After insurance? $3,500. Yeah, the US medical system is very broken. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wait around in the ER for two hours and then just fall over and die. That's what, I, that's what it felt like. So I'll go get ibuprofen. So I actually drove away feeling in pain uh, with the flu and with whatever was going on in my body. Go to Target, get some um, ibuprofen, Tylenol, some anti like chest stuff and take a little bit of all of it. Goes away for like two hours. I go home, two hours later, it comes back worse. Driven to the hospital and I am in pain. And when they go to check me in again, like take the heart rate, they actually put me down and put all these stickers on me to check my heart rate and I start puking. They have me wait in the waiting room and I'm walking around literally like moaning and yelling a little bit. They finally called me and I said, let me walk. Cause every time I laid down or sat down, it made me want to puke. But then, then I walked back to the back of the hospital and then said, Doc, doctor, give me, I'm going to puke. And they're like, what? And I actually had a puke bag. The last person gave me one Blah! and puked again and then laid down and they put me on some meds, put me on some anti-nausea stuff, did x-rays. They did an ultrasound. And during the ultrasound, when they pressed on that spot, even with the meds I was on, I still puked. They didn't actually find anything, but they prescribed me a bunch of meds. I, I went home uh, feeling a little better because of after what they gave me. And I, it was so late, it was 4 a.m. So that's what I went through uh, like two weeks ago. COVID cases in the U.S. yesterday went up to 51,938 new cases. COVID deaths yesterday went up to 764 new U.S. COVID deaths. 43.2% of the U.S. population has at least one dose of the vaccine and 29.5% of the U.S. has been fully vaccinated. Thank you so much for watching. Have you ever been to the ER? Comment below a time and tell us your story.